In this video, we will show you how to configure Awingu to interact with the network drives. So previously, we already have published full desktops, remote apps, RDP apps. What we're now going to do is uh, connect Awingu to a storage uh, system, so to a, a network file server, which, which is accessible over SIFS. Uh, to do this, again, I have to go to the, the system settings and this time go to manage drives. So if this is the first drive you would like to add, you will see that the list is uh, empty. Uh, like previously, click on, uh, on add and uh, first thing to do is specify the, the name of the drive. So in this case, what I'm going to configure is uh, a home drive. So I'm, I'm going to uh, map uh, each individual user's home drive as his uh, home drive in, uh, in Awingu. Um, the name is again what will be visible in the Awingu configuration. Then uh, as a backend, there are three options. Um, there is a possibility to connect to SIFS, so any uh, Windows file server, NetApp, so anything which is uh, compatible with, uh, with SMB or SIFS can be, uh, can be integrated that way. We, we have a plugin for OneDrive, uh, so it is possible to connect Awingu to your um, personal OneDrive um, or, or your OneDrive for business, your, your uh, own OneDrive for, uh, for business. Um, and there is the possibility to connect to a, a WebDAV uh, drive uh, if that's uh, something you still have uh, around in your organization. There is one important remark for uh, the OneDrive integration. So for OneDrive, it's possible to access your files on, uh, on OneDrive, but it's not possible to open them directly in streamed applications. So if you're going to use the, the OneDrive plugin, you still need to copy them to a, to a SIFS drive and then from the SIFS drives, you can uh, start them. In this case, I'm, I'm going to connect to a, 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 non, uh, a, a remote uh, network um, uh, server, so to a, a SIFS uh, file server. And uh, Awingu asks for two things. It asks for the URL and the UNC. Uh, what's the difference? The URL is the link that Awingo will use to browse uh, the files. So it's the, the link that uh, is accessible from Awingo to that uh, file server. Uh, and it's uh, in, in a plain uh, web format. So um, uh, style SMB double point slash slash uh, name of the server slash uh, the, the file share path. Um, I think important here to mention is that uh, it needs to be the fully qualified domain name. So if, you, if you're making a URL, it needs to be a full, a full URL. Um, the UNC, that's the, the pod that is going to be used by the um, uh, application server. So um, I've, as already explained, you, you can uh, open specific you can open um, uh, files directly from in the files uh, space of Awingu by uh, clicking on it and then Awingu will open the, the corresponding uh, application or applications. Um, by doing so, Awingu will pass the file location. In this case, it's not the URL, but the UNC pod that will be passed. So, in my case, uh, this is uh, my uh, UNC pod. You also notice that in here I have uh, something called uh, open the brackets username, uh, close the brackets. So that's uh, a, a placeholder uh, that automatically will uh, that automatically will fill in the user's name. So the, the user will arrive automatically in his own uh, home directory. Of course, if you're sharing like um, a public share or, or, a, or a marketing share, uh, then you don't need that username uh, template to, to be filled in in the string. But by doing so, you go directly to the user's uh, drive. Um, authentication is based on the user. So there are a few options. We can also do like an anonymous connect, but uh, in this case, I would like to connect with the real identity of the user. And then similar like with the, with the applications and the desktops before, Awingu asks who can see this network drive. So I'm again, I'm going to specify that this is uh, visible to uh, everyone. And then again, I can specify a specific context, uh, which I will not do at uh, this time. If I click on uh, add, um, it has added my uh, network drive. If I go uh, out and uh, back in into Awingu, you will see that um, on, the, uh, on, the, on the drives that I have a first drive available being my uh, home drive and that I have access to uh, all the documents which are in, uh, in here. 